I'm pleased that you are, in fact, covering this. Look at the news over the last few days, and people seem more concerned about a tennis player getting into Australia than what was going on in Kazakhstan. And you're absolutely right. This is a an important country, most associated probably with Borat, which they didn't like very much. But it is huge. It's not only got huge gas and oil reserves, it's also got a lot of rare earth minerals too. When I visited the country uh, a few years ago as foreign minister, I came back and my takeaway was this was like going to the Gulf in the 1930s. This was an opportunity for Britain to invest, to double the size of our embassy, to help with their trade, to help with their education, to help with their democratic processes, as they themselves were exploring uh, avenues to move away from being that satellite state as they were under the Soviet Union. And what we saw in the president there, Nazarbayev, is now he stepped down uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, Tokayev has come in and instead, but very much is Nazarbayev that still runs uh, the roost there. You can only run any country for so long using fear alone. It wasn't the gas prices just, it was actually the fact that this was a repressed regime, not listening to the, the people themselves who were calling for change. The change didn't come with the change of presidency. And the change is now, rather than actually recognizing and, and uh, embracing the need for change today, what have the presidents done? They've called in help from Russia, which is absolutely the wrong call. Yes, I mean, the involvement of Russia now escalates this massively in terms of the geopolitical implications. I understand that today troops have been given an order to kill without warning. Is that what you've picked up on? Yes, it is. I mean, this is typical playbook out of the autocrats, uh, you know, way to respond to uh, events such as this. Firstly, labelling those demonstrators as terrorists. That gives an excuse for the police to operate within them, playing close police, looking for the leaders, then actually taking them out, dragging them onto buses, closing down social media so that nobody can communicate. And then on top of that, call in, you know, the big boys the, from, from Russia itself. And Russia will be very, very concerned about this. I think spooked, in fact, is probably the, or the right word uh, in the Kremlin right now. They didn't want this. Uh, they certainly were looking and focusing on potentially invading eastern Ukraine, which is another big story that we've not given justice to. But there'll also be concerns, and you touched on it, by China, because there's parts of China where they are absolutely you know, suppressing the views there, of keeping down and silencing the peoples there. And they'll be looking at what's going on with Kazakhstan uh, with their very wary eyes indeed.